Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. Every now and then we'll go into the maker shed where there's tons of cool projects, kits, books, all kinds of things to help you be a better maker. In fact, today's project is not only in Make Magazine, but it's also a kit at the Maker Shed. So head on over to Makershed.com and pick up the LED light brick kit, because that's what I'm going to show you how to make today on this week's weekend project. <laughs> Make Volume 18 is where you'll find the LED light brick project by Alden Hart. You'll find everything you need to build the brick in the kit. This is an easy project for beginners and advanced users can take it a step further. It's pretty much all soldering, so let's get to work with the 20 100 ohm resistors that we need to put in place. Resistors are not polarized, so it doesn't matter which way they go on the board, but they look better if they're all lined up with the same colors. And then there's two 20K resistors that go in the last two resistor spots on the board. I like to use a small magnifying glass to examine my solder connections when I'm done, just to make sure everything looks good. After trimming all the leads, it's time to get to the capacitors. You'll notice there's four, but we're only going to be using two, because the other two would be put in place if you wanted to do some programming. Pay attention to the orientation of the 10 microfarad cap, because it's polarized. Now it's time to get to the LEDs, and there's 20 of them, but there's four different colors, and we don't know which is which, so using a button cell battery, we'll make little piles of blue ones, red ones, yellow ones, and green ones. Now it's time to get back to soldering, and remember the LEDs are polarized, so the negative end will go in the flat side on the board, or the square hole. The PIC microcontroller is the brains of the organization that determines the color combinations and the way the LEDs light up. And it has a small notch which matches the notch on the board, so make sure you put that in right before you make all those solder connections. And then the small DC power connector gets soldered in place that allows us to plug in the AC adapter to power our LED light brick. And the last component is the all-important tilt switch. You want to leave enough room when you solder that in place so you can bend it down about parallel with the board. Our LED light brick is finished and the tilt switch is what turns it on and also puts it through four different modes of operation. Now if you wanted to take this one step further you could get into some of your own programming by adding those two capacitors that we left out and then that one header and do some of your own programming for the LED light brick. The last thing to do would be to put it in some kind of housing. The magazine article calls for putting it in a resin mold and then filling the mold with resin so you have this clear light brick or you could make one out of Legos and fill that with resin but get creative with it and pick up your own LED light brick kit and build one today. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. <music>